Okay, we're talking here to Hans-Martin Henging, who is the deputy director of the German Solar Institute, Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems. And uh, one of the main topics you have been interested in in your recent years was solar cooling. Can you give us an update on where we are with solar cooling at the moment? I tried to give a brief update, yes. So, um, talking about the market for solar cooling, uh, or the presence of this technology on the market, there are probably around 1,000 installations, could be 100 more or less, in the world. So, we can see it's still a very small market. Uh, nevertheless, it's steadily growing and we, in the recent years, we have some new developments, interesting developments. One is that we have an increasing number of installations using tracking solar collector technology, uh, which can provide high temperatures and thus drive uh, heat-driven cooling machines which have a high efficiency. That's in particular for, let's say, industrial applications or large buildings in sunny regions with a high fraction of direct radiation. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, an increasing number of installations in the small capacity range. So we have now in Europe uh, a number of producers of small-scale heat-driven cooling machines which are well adjusted for application in combination with solar thermal collectors. And also this is a growing small market, still small market, but there is a growing interest in this. And uh, I think what is interesting for the future that uh, these companies are all startups with small production scales. But as soon as the market will increase, we can also expect that the cost will become lower. Great, that's uh, good news. Um, but it's not only about the components. I understand it's still a question also of the total engineering, which of course these, these uh, systems are a little bit more complex. Do we see improvements there that the system design is becoming uh, easier for installers and planners? Yes, I mean, that's of course one of the targets of our uh, work to make the systems more simple, more prefabricated, uh, less effort in planning. <coughs> Sorry and installation uh, on site, but uh, there is still a long way to go, I would say. So we see small improvements. We have now a number of um, companies which offer kits, they call it kits. So it's, let's say, pre-assembled or pre-selected components which fit well to each other. But nevertheless, still there is uh, some effort on the side of the building to put them together in the right way. And there is still a, a potential for improvement in this. And uh, what we learned from many demonstration systems, which we observed and, and also monitored in the last years, is that due to shortcomings in design, in installation, in operation, the auxiliary energy demand is still too high and also of course the cost is too high so it's not standardized enough to r get really competitive cost that's a, that's a good uh, a good word uh, cost w where are we in, in terms of cost is it already cost competitive or at least in, in certain regions yes there are some examples where a uh, uh, return on investment in the range of between 5 and 10 years is possible so uh, that's mainly for large installations, not for very small ones. Um, and of course, under, let's say, favorable boundary conditions, if conventional energy prices are not low, but are, let's say, at a reasonable value, um, if there is a heat demand or a domestic hot water demand so that a maximum use of the solar collector system can be made beside cooling, uh, those are good conditions and just last week I uh, uh, had the uh, opportunity to visit a system in Cyprus uh, which is designed for solar heating and cooling of an office building and an exhibition area and it works quite well and the really interesting uh, fact there is that they don't need any other energy for heating beside the solar collector system which is has been designed for cooling but now can even completely cover the heat demand of that building and in this particular case the installer and uh, the building owner said that they calculate a payback time of five to six years which sounds quite promising.
That sounds really promising. So thank you very much, and uh, we're looking forward to more such promising news. Thank you. Thank you.